Out on the bus, I've been trying to identify things that need doing and then taking care of them one by one. Some wall paneling went up this week, as did some trim, and with each piece of wood installed, the bus is looking more and more finished. Or finished-ish, if that's a word. It's kind of coming together. While I've been working, I've been thinking about the ways I do things and how those ways might not be the way you do things or other people do things. And yet, I have these habits and idiosyncrasies to my building practices, things I'm stuck with, and some of it I like, and then some of it tends to get me in a little bit of trouble, as happened a few times this week. I wanted to tackle the kitchen drawers, so sketched out some basics in my notebook, and then got going with some three quarter inch plywood. Now, three quarter inch is a bit beefy for drawers and not totally necessary, but these are prison bus drawers and I wanted them to be strong. Using my sketches from the night before, I made a cut list and got busy cutting wood for all three drawers. For me, things like drawers that require precision work tend to come out the best when I get all the pieces cut identically to one another. And in this case, they all matched up really nice. Tink, on the other hand, was doing another, much more organic form of woodworking. And she seemed to be having a pretty good time. Oh. Now the drawers would all have panels in the bottom, so I grooved each side piece. A one blade thick pass on the table saw got it going, then I slid that fence over just a little touch to widen the kerf and make room for those panel drawer bottoms. I used to make panel grooves really tight so the panel would be snug, but I've found over the years that slightly loose panels, not like wiggly loose, but just a little bit loose panels are a lot happier. So that's it for the bodies of these three drawers. I'm pretty psyched to have those done. I kind of put them off for a while. Uh, I've got the bodies done, the glue needs to dry on all three of them, and then I will uh, kind of line them up, install the sliders, and put the faces on. And it took some time getting the drawer sliders all in the right places and lined up on the drawer bodies. I don't really know how you do it or how other people do it, but this is how I do it and it seems to work out okay. They need three more things, uh, faces, uh, I have to put faces on them, they need handles of some kind. I've got a bunch of handles but I was thinking about making some out of some old aluminum that I have uh, from other parts of the bus. 
And um, they also need some kind of locking mechanism. I want to make I want to make sure that these drawers don't open and slide around uh, when the bus is moving around. So some kind of locking me mechanism, either some kind of bar in the back or latches in front or something like that. Uh, but I think before I do that stuff, hey, what's up? I think before I do that stuff, um, I'm going to do some trim on my other cabinets back behind here. Um, these cabinets all kind of need some trim work and then uh, doors, so that's kind of what's next up. Now, a note on trim. I've never glued trim in place in my life, and I don't really know why you would do it until I got on the prison bus and I started going with a little bit of glue on the trim before nailing. I just don't want the trim to move around on me, and that's why I went with the glue. And this flip down door is just for the water tank, which I wanted to separate out from the other storage shelves. Okay, now everything you're gonna see here didn't work out. What I was doing was attempting to bust out the under sink cabinet doors and things seemed to be going okay and then they weren't. I just wasn't able to get all my grooves and tenons and whatnot precise enough to make the doors turn out really nice, like, you know, perfect. I think I need to abandon the table saw for this work entirely. I think that's my problem. Anyway, I built up one of the doors and it looks okay in these pictures, but it's really not. And I decided to cut my losses and take another route. That'll have to be in a future video. All right, barn door slider. Now this baby is built out of cedar, which is a change on the bus and should offer some contrast with all the birch. And after getting the wood all evenly gapped and put together, I fashioned some brackets to hang the slider off the ceiling of the bus. And the brackets are bolted to the frame of the bus, not just the ceiling panel, so it's pretty solid. And while sliding doors always tend to wiggle and move around, and the prison bus itself wiggles and moves around, I think I'll be able to fix the door in place pretty well while on the road.
And brilliantly, my new cedar slider blocks that drop down door over the water tank. So I pulled the hinges and rehung the door on a cleat using the same latch. It's raining pretty good outside and I'm at a bit of a stopping point. I've got the slider in place. I've got that uh, door of the water tank uh, installed in a different way so that it works. And I've said this before, but I'll say it again. I've got to get my cabinet doors done. Um, I had a bit of a, a rough time with that uh, shaker door build, um, which I showed you. It, you know, that just didn't work out. So I think I'm going to go with either MDF or a uh, three quarter inch plywood. I'm thinking about maybe covering it in aluminum. I've got a bunch of aluminum left over from various things around the bus. I don't know how that's gonna look, but I'm gonna at least do a practice drawer front and see what it looks like. It might be that I go with this kind of aluminum covered look.